Hello, 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 everybody. We are in some Minecraft dungeons. This will be... Oh, I'm the Gangster Guy 22 in case you didn't read the title. Anyway, we are going to be doing... Um, this will be my first video in the Minecraft dungeon series. Also on YouTube, the Gangster Guy 22. So this is going to be for starters, and this is going to be just the basics of some things, you know, so, um, first, let's go to the merchants, let's go to the first one. Now, this is very similar to regular Minecraft, but there's a different, differences, I should say. Number one is the different armors and different weapons you have, this is a Dungeons game. And so, there's a blacksmith too. And so you can upgrade the level of your items. It can be anything. Anything on this list you can upgrade. Except for your pet. That sucks. But anyway. Legendary Merchant. Now, the merchants you can find on the map. You just gotta complete missions for them. And find them. And then the Mystery Merchant just gives you a random object. Like a random artifact. Or a random item. So, you're probably thinking, well, Mitchell, this seems boring, but it's not. If you are bored of this game, and if you've been playing for years and years, you will know of something called the Tower. And so the Tower, of course, gives you rewards. Now, you have to finish it, which, if you die at the last level, you're in tough luck, because you won't get anything. So finishing the tower will reward you current hero one high level item. And so that's how I got the sword and some of this other stuff as well. Gift wrapper is if you want to send a friend something if you're high leveled up like me, 126. Mm -hmm. So down here is all that gold you've been saving up goes to this dude right here and yes it's gilded some of it can be gilded some of it won't be but most of it will and this is a ancient hunt i did one before it's lawn but there are about 20 chests around the map and so it's good to know if you are sweating for emeralds Yes, people, emeralds are used in this game to buy the stuff in the, in the uh, merchants. And this dummy can just see how much you're doing. So, let's do something right now. Let's say you wanted to upgrade this spider army. This one's already almost done. But this one, you need to complete three Apocalypse 21 missions. And so, if you don't know what Apocalypse is... These are the different realms. Default is where beginners and starters will start. Adventure is for mediocre, and Apocalypse is the hardest of the hard. And this is the map. Yes, people, I'm not a sweat, so I didn't complete these um, locked missions and these secret ones. Here's a tower, you can access it from here as well. This one is a secret mission with that. This one was a secret mission, I think, with one of these other ones, but... If you want to grind out the blacksmith upgrade, just go to the secret mission with the three um, question marks. And go down to Apocalypse 21, because it says Apocalypse 21 or harder. And also, when it says to complete the mission, it only means defeat the boss at the end, or get to the exit. That doesn't mean you have to stay and fight all these buffoons. And yes, if you press down on the D-pad, you will get a map. And this map will therefore help you navigate. This abyss. Oh no. 
also, you may have noticed already that some of the mobs are enchanted. Yes, some of the mobs are enchanted with other things, not just strength, but killing is when you slow down. Um, deflection is when your arrows get deflected off of them, causing damage to yourself. So, just look at the top middle and just see what you're doing up with. Yes, some of these enchantments can and will kill you. They're very dangerous. Oh, no. yeah, I died. Huh. But, you can lose your lives. How about that? This game means that people will be dying soon, so they decide to add to the I'll get you. So if you still think this is boring, I can and will not do it at the same time because I'm playing this game. And yes, many people don't know about this game. I'm not sure why. It's Minecraft Dungeons. Two words put together to make a bigger game. So if you ever get bored with regular Minecraft, We defeated the boss in case you just fast forward the video. And that is a mission. I know, pretty cool, right? So after this, you'll get a chest. And also keep up with your artifacts because every single level counts on them. And as you also can tell, we have completed our sword. This one's still better, so I'm gonna keep it. Um, so if you don't really know what gilding means, it's just another way of saying it's another level than unique. What I mean by that is the only way you can get gilded is by the piglin downstairs as I showed you earlier in the video and also by completing the tower and that's, and that's the only way you can get gilded as far as I know but you could get it some other ways. Here, why don't we try and get that secret mission? The... The... This one, Complete Soggy Swamp. Complete Soggy Swamp. Find secret location. So, of course, there is a secret location we have to find. And that can mean in a cave and a house that teleports you into a room which is a secret location now people when it says it's a secret it doesn't mean just run around it means actually looking in these textures because who the hell knows could be over here I 
I just really like about this game is how they have taken actual mobs from Minecraft and made them into something new. Instead of just having the same old four mobs in Minecraft over here and just stay the same. I actually like how they put time and effort into this game. It's not just another season of Fortnite where basically everything's the same. Now, if any of you have played Minecraft Dungeons in the beginning, I will tell you this was that my cousin played it in the beginning and he has level 4000 equipment. Now, I don't think you can get up that high, but it was because in the beginning they had levels that went up that high. So basically, They've made updates to it, and they've nerfed some things. And then they can upgrade the game a little bit more over the past few years or so. Now it's virtually possible to get up to that level, I think. But I think that if you've been playing that long, level 4000 is the same as just basically the max level in this game. I think I haven't gone up to that level, so. I just got seen the future. But yes, with every every single game that I've played, there is one problem with it that I've noticed. One of the problems is the TNT. So if you've been playing in the um, the adventure, not so lower difficulty difficulties, I, I showed you earlier in the video. Um, I'm not sure if TNT coincides with the difficulty and level of the mission. But to whereas. I think it just deals the same amount of damage if I'm not mistaken, so that's just a little heartbreaking. Another thing is some of the mobs. Because some of the I don't, I don't know what you call them, bigger actual pillagers, not the small ones, like the like the beefed up armored ones, is that if they are enchanted, you have, or well, you will have a hard time defeating them, because they are just overpowered, let's just say that. But, as far as enchantments go, you too can have enchantments on your equipment, except for the artifacts. Yeah, you can't. So don't feel locked out when I say that the mobs are the only ones that have enchantments. You too can get enchantments only with these enchantment points. Right of the gold, as you can see, the purple swiggly, swiggly wine stuff. That That is called enchantment points. And so what those are used for is basically enchantments. If I take it out of the inventory, so it keeps the enchantments. Unless if I go upgrade it at the blacksmith, then it will return or refund all of my points. So imagine that the game was smart enough so that you don't just waste enchantments on something dumb and then you lose them. Another thing that I like about this game is that it doesn't. It doesn't just have boring weapons like in Minecraft. And I know that some of your sweats like Dream and Technoblade and all that, but still. It's kind of boring when you use the same armor and the same weapons every single day of your life. It's just boring, just same sometimes. 
No, but this game has different varieties of armor. And what I mean by that is that... Like this, this is a double axe. And I have a double sword. So there's different weapons and different armors. There isn't just an iron chest plate. You know, there's reinforced mail, there's small mail. And then there's wolf armor, there's frostbite. So all of these different armors have their own different unique thing that they do. Like this one that does 30% melee damage. But this soul dancer robe does 30 chance to negate damage. And some of it does range damage, some of it does melee damage, as I said. I just use it big enough. So I just like how it's not just stuck with just one set of armor. One specific type of armor, I would say. Like the glowing looking iron armor in Minecraft. Or yeah, I need armor to get it. I don't need iron to get it. It actually gives you something looking forward to different types of weapons and armor in this game. Yeah, so that only did 410,000 damage. And I think that stays the same. When you're in the adventure mode or the default mode. But I haven't tried it. I haven't really tried to get TNT in those modes yet. Yeah, I really don't like these guys. Oh, I forgot to mention. Raid captains. So, every single banner you pick up. Well, if you pick up your first banner, you I think you automatically get another chest. Like, like an extra chest at the end of the complete mission. And so, yeah, so just try and be really captain. Because you get extra equipment and extra weapons and all that good stuff. Also, with the with the moon map, if you were here earlier in the video, don't be like Mitchell and say, you know what, I'm gonna rush it. Well, don't do that because, as you saw, I've been picking up stuff. You know, I've been looting stuff from all these dudes that after I kill them. We'd seen it by now. Oh, wow. Holy shit. Yeah, so again, be careful with these enchanted people. We'll try to get them out of here. As possible. Another thing is that the, your bow, whatever type of bow you might have, is going to be your best friend in the future. Not when you start out, not really, but dealing with these enchanted mobs and stuff, it's really going to be a big um, um, throw. Just 
like how far the mobs can sense me. Another big thing that I hate with this game is that how you can't really aim TNT when you throw it, which is most of the time it just goes off the edge of the map like always. As long as I keep getting threat banners, I should be good to go, but I have player damage is decreased by 60%, and player health is decreased by 60%, and 30% of the mobs have the quick enchantment, so I'm basically kind of screwed. I don't want to do that unless I'm doing it, but still it's helpful. Yeah, I mean, TNT is just not that useful. I mean, oh my god. So, in regular Minecraft, it is useful for taking out mountains and you know, all the buildings, the hot land, you know, killing the mob. Bro, you gotta be fucking kidding me. I hate these fucking mobs. So, what you just witnessed is a is a revenge on me for killing their goody booties over there, or their goody buddies. Yeah, so, about these enchantments, they are really helpful. Um, they are very, very helpful. This radiance gives you, it just heals you. This is a shockwave, as you've seen before, and this gives me triple damage. I'm not sure that really is helpful. This is very helpful, and that's very also helpful, then... You know, so all of this is helpful. Oh, what is that? I do not know what that electricity is. I'm now I'm scared because this is terrible. Yeah, so if you've already seen raid captains can give you a bitchin' time, and what I mean by that is they can give you a very, very hard time. Oh, yes. Alright, do you, do you see that my arrow? That was the deflect enchantment that they've had. I'm wondering if we're ever going to find this secret mission.
Another thing which is pretty dumb is that there's no, I don't think there's a such thing as a jump boost in the, this game at all. Making it, you can only go up one block at a time. Which is very, very dumb. Oh. Now, a roll bag having sheep on your team is if you get so right now I have two sheep which is the enchanted grass as you see I get two things of, in, of um, enchanted grass the one thing that is really really bad is that if you have two of them or blue sheep meaning two of them give you a, a, uh, a speed boost and, and by God, if you have three blue sheep, you are really fun. second. Sorry, it's got a drink. Now we'll wait. Oh yes. Never of advice is to always go after them supply chests because they give you more arrows and that's the only way I know to get arrows besides killing them. Man, is there even a secret and pickle. Shit, they had to defrag the enchantment. So, yeah, just look at your uh, top. See if there is a defrag enchantment on these dudes. Oh my no. Wow, so, yeah, that is one drawback into getting multiple raid captains. And one time I've gotten about 10 flags, and they've done 90%. Um, they had 90% player damage decreased, and I was hitting them for just peanuts, man. It was just bad. It was bad news, so... Yeah, this will be the first video in my series, and yes, you don't get any chests at the end if you die, or not the end, I'm sorry, if you if you die in the middle of a mission, but you will keep your level, which is good and bad at the same time. So, again, this is my first video. You can find me on... YouTube and Twitch, the Gangster Guy 22 with no second G. I know Xbox couldn't support another G. And uh, we will all—I, uh, not not the player—I will see you in the next.